It's the ultimate showdown. Ammeter versus voltmeter. Ammeters are designed to measure current. So if you have yourself a battery and a resistor and you want to know the current through the circuit, you put in an ammeter and the current has to go through the ammeter. So you want resistance to be zero in an ammeter so that it does not disturb the current that you're trying to measure. Of course, that's impossible, but we hope it is. And if you want a voltmeter, you want to know the voltage across this resistor. So you get your voltmeter and you go like that. You touch it into the circuit, but it is not a part of the circuit. I like to think of a voltmeter as a casual observer. You want the resistance of your voltmeter to be infinite. Of course, you're not quite going to get there, so some of the current will go through your voltmeter, which will do something strange to your voltage reading. What, what would that do if there's some current going through here? Not as much current going through there. Would that decrease the voltage drop? Increase the voltage drop? You think about that for a little bit. <clears throat> But this is the way that they should be used. Ammeters should be in series with your circuit and voltmeters ought to be in parallel. That's it.